walk the beach real quick. It is incredible out here. You guys already know how we cross the street in Vietnam, right? We just go. You really don't stop. Once you make a move, you just keep going. Otherwise, nobody knows what you're doing, right? But if you keep the same pace, they know what you're doing and they just go around you. Yeah, absolutely. Maryland, great retirement home, great retirement place. Look at the beach today. So I had to come down here and show you. Uh, the teddy bear, are you in here? The teddy bear, if you're in here, this is for you. A really nice CG125 over here. I've got to learn to ride a motorcycle while I'm here. Okay, so this is the beach, guys. We're actually gonna go down on the beach. I do have my sun shirt on. Um, look at, the, I mean, just come on. Come on, guys. What are you talking about? Of course you wanna come to Vietnam. Of course you wanna come to Vietnam. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful out here. This morning, I got a video for you guys. If you haven't already, go over to my YouTube. Uh, give me a subscribe on my YouTube, please. I'm trying to get to a thousand people over there so that I can uh, so I can go live horizontally instead of vertically like here. We are in Da Nang, Vietnam. This little place this morning, I'll post it on my YouTube shorts. I came in over here at like eight o'clock in the morning. This place was blasting Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese music. The pigeon were all out eating um, it was just incredible vibe a really incredible vibe and I want you guys to check that out I'll post it on my YouTube shorts I've taken off my sandals let's go ahead and make it out to the beach yeah it is fantastic out here look both directions real quick before we get down closer to the water but you I mean it, usually under these palapa roofs right here they have uh, little chairs that you can lay down in the chairs are about 80 cents each so it's about a dollar 60 a day to to let to lay out here all day long and of course yeah the, the scenery is going to be beautiful for everybody absolutely beautiful for everybody and here you go some more of these little lounge chairs right here i think these lounge chairs are going to be about uh about 30 cents a day for locals they're probably going to be about a dollar 20 for foreigners and yeah there's a foreign tax that's how it goes you, you know you should pay just a tiny bit more in my opinion but all right let's make it on down to the beach real quick we'll park our sandals somewhere down here we'll make a walk and uh it'll absolutely be fantastic now listen you guys know that I'm using an Aerolo SIM card. So if the SIM card goes out and I drop connection, I will run back to an area where I can get connection. So please uh, bear with me. Again, I'm using an Aerolo SIM card to, uh, to stream from out here. And I'm not gonna kid you, probably won't be out here so long. It is baking hot. I do have a sun shirt on right now so that I don't burn. And I do have some sunscreen on my face. Oh my goodness, look at this this morning. You see the uh, Lady B Buddha out there? That's a pagoda out there. We will go out there at some, at some point and take you all with me. The Trinity family, it's cold in Vancouver. I bet you it is. The temperature right now is probably in the low 90s. It's probably in the low 90s. Kiki, thank you so much. Daisy, it is about noon. It's right around noon right now. So to give you a better answer, it's uh, 12 hours ahead of Central Standard Time in the US. So whatever time it is in Central Standard Time, it's 12 hours ahead here. I used to lay out and get tan all over on these beaches in the 70s. Wow, Michael, it is so different than it used to be. Paul, it is absolutely beautiful. Julie, hello. Evergreen Market, we are in 11.15 a.m. Okay, we are in Da Nang, Vietnam. Julie, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. You know what, I, I don't wanna go all the way down because I'm afraid I'll lose signal. But we'll go down as far as I can before I lose signal to show you. Rhea, thank you so much, Rhea. Z. <laughs> nice to have you guys here i will definitely go to the philippines guys sandra yes this is uh, sandra sandra yes this is vietnam i find you on youtube thank you so much guys please subscribe over on my youtube page i will post a really cool shorts a youtube shorts you'll see it it just is a whole vibe i'll post it in a little bit wow the surfers are out i will be out here in one hour probably guys i will be out here in one hour you guys are always asking, is the water clear? The water is clear. It's very, very clear. Sarge, thank you so much. Yo, Sergeant, Sergeant, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. We are in Da Nang, Vietnam. Da Nang, Vietnam. People call it the most beautiful beach on earth. Is it right? You know what? I'll let you kind of be the, deter the, the determining vote here. For me, it's one of my absolute favorites. One, you've got the mountains with a little bit of the culture and history over here with the Lady Buddha. You come all the way out to the end of that mountain. I move my finger, you get a better view. All the way out there, you drive over the edge of that mountain. You come to the Intercontinental Hotel. You can't see it right now, guys, but there's a road that goes right up that mountain. It's called High Von Pass. It's the absolute most beautiful view I've ever seen on Earth. For me, I'm a beach guy. Go and watch that on my video on my TikTok. Um, it's called Hue. We were on our way to Hue that day. Um, 
And so you'll see that there, but look at this, right? So you've got a lot of the tourist area down here. That's a Mi K beach on that end. And then you come back this way, and we're on the Mion Beach on this way. So I live in the Mion Beach area. I actually live right down that street. That's the street we just walked on, so that's where you'll find me. The Lady Buddha statue is very tall. Yes, it is very tall. I will take you guys out there at some point. We'll, we'll go out that way and let you take a look. I don't miss the salty ocean in your eyes and mouth, though. Devin, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually use earplugs in my ears. I'm kind of an old dude when it comes to that. I, I plug my ears still when I get in the water. What brought you to Vietnam? Paul, uh, a, a YouTube video. I watched a YouTube video one day when I was sitting on the couch and uh, back in the States and saw this video of Da Nang and uh, started looking at some more places in Vietnam and looked at Shannon and was like, yo, we're going to Vietnam. And she's like, uh, okay, we'll go to Vietnam then. And so I looked at her after a few more videos and I said, you know what? I'm really going to love Da Nang Vietnam. I'm not sure that I would want to leave. I feel like it's home. And she said, okay, yeah, right. And then we got here and we both looked at each other and we're like, yo, this is actually really, really cool. And the longer we were here, the, the cooler the people became toward us. Um, and every single day now, somebody stops us, asks us where we're from, what we're doing. Do we want to go eat? Do we want to have lunch with them? Do we want to go to the club with them? Would we like to have a coffee? Um, I was riding down the sidewalk, riding down the street yesterday, saw a friend of ours that we made at a hotel. He's like, hey, come have coffee with me tomorrow. I'm like, great, I will. That's just kind of what it's like. It's absolutely fantastic. The people, the culture, the food, the scenery. I think I'll actually go people, culture, scenery, food, in that order. Oh, you're going to love it. You'll absolutely love it. Make your way here. I hope you get to be here. Seriously, I really do. Yes, Dave, there is a huge expat community here, and they live right in this area right here. Um, and when I say expat, I also mean like digital nomads. So there's a lot of digital nomads here as well. Jan, what's going on, Jan? Nice to see you. I really appreciate you being here all the time. Really cool of you. I really enjoy everybody seeing everybody all the time. Paul, you're absolutely welcome, man. No, no problem at all. I try to answer everybody. No skip, no kid drill, Scotty. You're crazy, man. Oh, Mike's like, no way, no way. What a beautiful place, Franco. It is. It's a beautiful place, guys. Banah Hill is the tourist attraction. Yeah, we can't actually see Banah Hills right now. Tuj, I hope I said that, Tuj. You can't see it right now, but Banah Hill is right over that hill. I mean, right behind there, you'll see the mountains. We can actually see it from our apartment complex. Um, it's really fantastic. It really does remind me kind of like Hawaii. Um, Orwan, yes, we do have lunch. We have lunch actually with the lady that lives across the street from us. She makes us lunch. It's really, really nice. Um, we try to give her money and she tells us no, but she makes us lunch. She knows we're vegan. She makes us vegan lunch. It's really fantastic. I mean, we buy our coffees from her every morning. Our coffees are, um, Shannon will help me out here. I think the coffees are 30 cent, or 30,000 Viet Dong for both of us, which is gonna be, uh, maybe a dollar twenty, a dollar twenty for two ice uh, for two iced coffees. 